What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Daniel Nelson Podcast Show. This is the place where we play and talk about the Mitski love. Today, I'm excited because we're doing it again. I got my sister, Kim. I am. How you doing, sis? I'm good. How you doing? You know, I'm just cheesing because we had so much fun on that yacht a couple of weeks ago. You got your favorite beverage, too? Look at that. Okay. I like that she still sleep. I'm trying to wake up. Mm. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you. We had so much fun on that yacht. We're going to do it again. Amen. Yes, we did. Oh my gosh. I'm getting um I have received phone calls, emails, messages, texts. Like people had such a good time. You know, yeah. they're like, oh, I'm here the next one and I'm gonna tell somebody. And so, you know, that's awesome. And I'm I'm already looking forward to it. You know, it was since September. We did it yeah. four weeks ago, about yeah, well, four weeks ago, yeah. And um, it was a really good time cruising for a cause. Uh, Beautiful I Am Foundation uh, did our little um, annual. I'm going to call it our annual. Yeah. On the water in Marina del Rey. So it was really nice. So, yeah, we're getting ready to get back into some things again at the next month, the end of next month. End of next month. As a matter of fact, let's talk about that because I'm excited. Because yeah. um, um, my wonderful wife, Joni, S. Nelson will be joining in with her found uh, her nonprofit, yes. uh, doing A O K. The letter A O K will be joining in with Beautiful I Am, mm-hmm. and um, this is November thirtieth. Let's talk about this. Um, what does the Beautiful I Am nonprofit do? Well, actually, we uh, work with young girls between the ages of 5 and 18. Um, African-American girls uh, are the majority, but I'm not going to exclude young ladies. Right, you know right. Uh, but they are our focus uh, because I see so many things going on um, in society that depict black girls as, you know, just not in a good light. Right. You know? Um, I experience young ladies who uh, battle with depression, low self-esteem, yeah. um, are in situations that um, that they feel like they're trapped in and that they can't yes. get out of. And I've been that little girl before who suffered from low self-esteem, yeah. and depression and grief and, you know, didn't know really how to handle it. Although I had mentors around, I remained silent. And so... Mm when um just even a few years ago in getting therapy and things like that and working through my yeah. kids, I realized that I didn't want any other young girl to suffer right as I had suffered so yeah. if there's anything that I could do to help um that's what I wanted to do and um but now to me I had written a song called beautiful I am like yeah before that you know and so when I really sat down and listened to those lyrics um I was just like this is it like this is what <laughs> I'm supposed to be doing, yeah you know? You're right um because going through all the music stuff and recording trying to be a recording artist and yeah all those things you know and this industry is so ugh, you know? yeah it's not look upon um greatly these days <laughs> right right <laughs> um, and that's in all genres you know yeah in all genres yeah it kind of started to take a back seat oh okay and i almost wanted to give up and it was my friend who gave me this title marlon saunders said sis here take this title beautiful i am and i just started thinking wow beautiful i am i am that I am the great I am is right. and so yeah. I was just putting all that together and so boom 2015 this 2018 actually this nonprofit was formed so we've been okay. doing workshops and classes and you know I'm big on financial literacy right. teaching our young ladies uh, about finances <clears throat> how to start businesses knowing the differences between a need and a want yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. 
so then I just started deciding to, you know, getting grants. Um, is tough, you know. I've been really yeah. with that and working with some people on that. Um, but I started thinking like, why don't I use my resources, my app, yeah. Yeah. raise some money too? So Kim, what do you do? I sing. Right. Right. Listen. People yeah. love good music. Right. And I need to start, and it puts me in my place that I love. Right. So why not do what I love to help for a cause that I love? Yeah. You know, so it's a win-win situation. A win-win, yeah. And that's what we're going to be doing November 30th in San Pedro, California at the uh, uh, the Annex. Uh, the show time is at 6.30 p.m. Tickets are $40, correct? Yeah, yeah. I and uh, um, I don't think that's bad because you're, I mean, you're going to get an experience. I'm all about giving people an experience. Right. You know what I'm saying? Not just come here to music, sit, but, you know, there'll be some incredible edibles. Yeah. Shady, um, incredible music. You know, yeah. Nelson, twice the action. Twice the action, yeah. In effect, and you know, just the ambiance. Because I actually, I really love that little theater. You know, yeah. It's a nice. It's very uh, cozy. Right. And, and it's just nice. You know, I don't know. I might take the mic down and have people come sing with me. You know. What I'm yeah, saying? yeah. And you know what? The thing is, the thing is, what we're talking about. You know. This is bigger than us because, uh, you know, even with Joni's uh, nonprofit, you know, we need blankets, you know, because we usually go down to different places in Long Beach and Los Angeles and give out blankets, socks. So if you want to, along with your ticket, if you want to bring, you know, go to Five Below and buy some $5 blankets, some socks or whatever, please do. Okay, we do not take none of that stuff home. As a matter of fact, I don't need it because my garage is filled up with stuff. <laughs> I'm a musician, so I leave it like that. Okay, so I'll, I can't fit nothing else in this garage. But I think that's the uh, uh, the blessing because, you know, there are times where people hoard things and we don't realize how blessed we are. And we're not comparing ourselves to anyone, but, you know, there are a lot of people that need help. And then you spoke on depression. Uh, let's speak a little deeper about that because even now I'm I'm hearing about 12 year old, 13 year old girls, and even young men wanting wanting to take their lives because they're saying there's no hope. Speak on that a little bit. And see, and, and that's that's the the issue that we're having. We're living in a society full of chaos. Yeah, so I, I find that too when you position yourself. Um, around situations where there's so much clamor, so much right. thinking, so much going on, because we have social media. So yeah. every second, think about a young person that's on Instagram or TikTok. Every three seconds, they're getting some, they're inundated with people talking, different information, this, that, and the other. Yeah. So I think sometimes what happens is the mind gets cluttered. Um, it's not clear. You start seeing yourself a different way. You start comparing yourself and people got to understand comparison kills. I mean, it's one thing to um, have someone be a mentor and you want to, to glean from and learn from, but you want to be somebody else is another problem and another issue in itself. Yeah. So when you find yourself unable to be like somebody else, that can cause depression too. Um, you feel silenced. You can, right. Um, because you keep listening to everybody else and you are probably finding that I have a voice too, but I don't know how to use it. And so people don't know how to communicate. Yeah. You know, they yeah. only use social media to communicate. Or are, I see young people constantly texting and they'll be texting to the person they're sitting right next to. So Right. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's like We're not having conversations anymore. People don't know how to really express themselves yeah. in a manner that um, I would say kind of easy. Um, yeah. Everything has to be loud and boisterous and yeah. silent, you know? Right. 
So I think, I think that the comparison is the big thing. And when we as adults are yeah. cutting up and acting up all over the place. And I mean, even when we talk about the church, I know I feel like I'm all over the place, but even the church is divided. Yeah. So where is the hope? All right. Where do young people find the hope? So, and I think in this season, we're getting ready to get into this season of the holidays. Yeah. So this this concert or this little gathering of, of music is a kickoff to the seasons. Thanksgiving is just a couple days before this event. Yeah. People are ready to go shopping and stuff. But to me, it's really this time of year to start giving. You know, because yeah. like we're so blessed. We're right. blessed to be blessing. Yeah. To come out and to help support these causes that help benefit humanity. Yes. In some respect. Um, it's just a blessing to bring a blanket, to bring a pack of socks, you know, right. a scarf. Right. You know, you're going to be out Friday shopping anyway. Just go ahead and pick up an extra one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Eric with somebody who doesn't have that, you know, it's starting right. to get a little chilly in the right. Um, so, and I know doing AOK -okay is focused on homelessness. Yes. Hopelessness. Right. Yes. <laughs> um, and that's part of the great commission to go out. Right. And to help. Yeah. To share. To get, right. To be the hands. And the, right. And the mouthpiece of God. Right. That's the only way a lot of times people who don't know him will get to know him. Yeah. You know what? Kim, that that's 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 uh um very interesting you said that because the bottom line is this. You know, if you're a giving person, most of the time you're doing it all year round. All year. So it's easy, you know, and I would tell people when they say you're always smiling. I said, but that doesn't cost you. You, you just have this signature <laughs> smile. Anything you see Daniel, he, yeah. it's just that. <laughs> but, but, but it doesn't cost you anything to smile. You know, I walk into a, a couple of coffee houses, you know, either one of them, you know, and there are times I just see people just angry. Yeah. Like, good morning. You know, they, what's so good about it? Somebody. Yeah, they say, right. They say, what's so good about it? I'm like, Wow. Just the activity of your limbs is, is a good thing. You're able to see me is a good thing, you know? But that's what we're, we're faced with. But you know what? I, I'm not going to let anybody squash my little light. That's right. I keep smiling. I, I, I still speak. But I just want to speak to that because when we have this event, that's another thing that we're going to be giving, a lot of love and a lot of hope. And, you know, uh, let me speak of the band real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, I have Brandon on drums, Daniel on bass, Chris on guitar. I have myself, and then I got you singing. Now, the last time we did this on the yacht, I mean, it was, now it's just like I'm bragging and boasting, but it was just such a smooth feel that people were blessed by it. And they were like, Kim, I, I I need information on where to get your CD and, and things of that nature. You, right. <laughs> so what I'm getting at is this, you guys. This place only holds, what, 120? 110. Or 110. Oh, I said 120. Look, and tickets are selling. Yes. So you really want to get your ticket and be a blessing mm -hmm. to the beautiful I am and doing A-OK. -okay. And then you get to hear great music. We got the solid auction going on. Yep. We'll As a matter of fact. And we'll have some of our merch there. Um, my Christmas CD yes. is available. Um, your CDs will be available. Yes. You know, and it's all about supporting right. you know, each other. I mean, what great holiday gifts. I mean, you know. Yeah. Oh, and let, let's talk about the artist. Uh, if you're really into art, you will know this name right off. Charles Bibbs. I mean... He is, when I say he's a fantastic artist, I mean, you've got to see his work. And we will be uh, uh, doing that. Auction off one of his pieces. Auction off one of his pieces. 
And he he says, you know what? Because of this cause, you know, I'm in. I'm in. So 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 that's that that that's that's a blessing. But uh, like I said though, uh, again, um, there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to be posted on our social media, on our Facebook. Um, the uh, the address is uh, see where is it? See San Pedro Annex. Okay, yeah. Announce the address. It's the annex, and it's four three four West Sixth Street, and that's in San Pedro. Um, zip code is nine zero seven three one. And again, the doors are going to open um, at 615, Saturday, November 30th. And we're going to try to start promptly about 630. And mm-hmm. again, we want you to be in the house on time. Um, again, nice venue, kicking off the holiday seasons. So you might hear uh, one or two Christmas songs in there. Yeah. So, you know, that's my favorite music anyway, one of my favorites. All right. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. Old school, some jazz. Oh, my goodness. We just want to have a good time. We want We're going to have a good time. And yeah. And the festivities. Yeah. yeah. Well, sis, look, I'm not going to keep you long. I know we've been on here for about 30 minutes or so, and I try to, you know, get to our point, but we got so much information, and we will be doing this again. And uh, I appreciate oh, you so much. One more thing. Um, yes. And definitely for more information, just go to our website, Beautiful I Am, www.beautifulIam.org, and the information is posted, so you'll see that too. You can just click the link and go straight there and get your tickets. Yes. All right. So I appreciate you so much. Again, you know, I love what you do. We've been doing this for a long time. Oh and uh, uh, about that, like yeah. 92 or 30? Yeah. Yeah. No. 80 yeah about 89 right right okay so yeah about 90 okay 90 yeah 91 92 yeah 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 Yeah, it's been that long so anyway i I am blessed yeah i I am blessed and you guys understand sometimes we do this as a matter of fact okay i'm gonna let you go but as a matter of fact i'm going to post just a clip of our recording when we're doing wishing on the star we did it. We did it. We did a cover of "Wishing on a Star." Yeah. I want to post some of that stuff, and you get to see how we really interact. Got, <laughs> that, that's all we love each other, y'all. Yeah, because he always want me to sing man songs. No. Like, man songs. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right, you guys get your tickets. Yes. Be safe. Be uh, love on one another. Okay. Yes, please, please. Peace please. and blessings to you, sir. All right, love you now. Talk to you later.